Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Pastor David Fraser, Alva Baptist Church in Clackmannanshire. Thank you. Thank you, Presiding Officer, and you members of Parliament, for your invitation. It's an honor to lead you today to reflect on our roles as leaders, as fellow human beings who have been entrusted with leadership. Your willingness to bear the weight of responsibilities for decisions taken in this gallery is appreciated by any person who has honestly considered the role of leadership with any understanding of what that entails. Thank you. I stand before you not as a foreigner, but rather as an immigrant who has been welcomed by the people of Scotland, a person who contributes to society and indeed civic life as you do, I stand today as a messenger of the gospel of Jesus Christ. May his name be praised. The Bible represents him to be the only son of God. And his message is this, God loves the whole world. And the father sent his only son on a mission for the good of all nations and all people. It's difficult to find fault with the teachings of Jesus. His Sermon on the Mount is appreciated by people of all faiths or of no faith. And I ask you to reflect on the core message of Jesus to the people of earth this morning. Repent of sin and follow God who loves people. I haven't come to declare my judgment of what sin is. Uh, I haven't come to... Uh, prescribe my estimation of its cure. Uh, I'm not here to lobby for my understanding of what it means to follow God. I've come as a messenger, uh, a modern-day prophet, if you will. I've come merely to read the words that are historically attributed to Jesus, words that have stood the test of time, words which, if they are true, will be a standard of measure for all the people of the earth whom God loves. And this is the message of Jesus as recorded in the Holy Bible. God sent his son into the world not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him, but anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only son. And the judgment is based on this fact. God's light came into the world, but people loved the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it for fear their sins will be exposed. But those who do what is right come to the light, so others can see that what they are doing is in God's will. Now, I... I know, of course, that not everyone agrees with this. And it is the prerogative of every person to determine their course through this life. I respect that. But our tolerance of people's ideas requires that we consider these words as well. For if they are true, the consequence for each one of us here today are serious. And the nation as a whole, it's serious. In fact, for the entire world, the consequences are serious. You lead and people follow. In light of these words today, spoken by Jesus, about light and dark and evil and right and judgment and salvation, please consider well where you, how you are leading the nation. And thank you for your time. I hope that you'll agree that we've spent it well. <laughs> 